All right, Pilgrim, I want you to listen and listen tight. Only going to tell you the once. Thank you for being here. The opening of the Jeff Star Talk and the Discovery Park Show for 2007. We're going to salute and a two-part show, John Wayne. Hello, everybody. That's my imitation of John Wayne, the legendary actor who will be 100 years old this Saturday. Of course, he succumbed to cancer in 1979 at the age of 72. But we're going to celebrate his life, his career, and what a wonderful man. Born Mary Michael Morrison in Winterset, Iowa on May 26, 1907. Uh, his family will be there this Saturday to celebrate in Winterset, but we're going to be at Newport Beach. Celebrated many years of his life, and he loved his both the Wild Goose and the John Wayne Airport, so we'll be there. Now, let me tell you a little bit about our show. We're here on location in the beautiful Stockton, California, for the old ghost town, Pollerville Ghost Town. Now, it's no longer open to the public. As a matter of fact, as we speak here today, they're taking board by board, brick by brick, of this uh, beautiful establishment. After 60 years, Neil and Tracy are going to retire. But, you know, it is fitting for the opening of our show today because John Wayne would have been 100 years old there bringing out new coins and new dolls to celebrate his life. And 48 of his classic movies are out on DVD today on May 26th. Uh, this whole week is a celebration of the Duke's life. And uh, let me tell you about our guest today. Our first guest is Ed Faulkner. He's not only was a dear friend and co-star of John Wayne, but he's a dear friend of mine. And he was in over a half dozen of John Wayne movies, including McClintock, Chisholm, Hellfighters, Green Berets, and many more. That's Ed Faulkner. And last but not least, we have Marsha Hunt, who was in Helltown, where the old career of John Wayne started back in the 30s, where he uh, did a movies with, Hell, uh, you know, I think it was Lone Star and Republic. So she'll be telling us some stories about a, a young John Wayne. Without further ado, let's get into our very first star today, and that is Ed Faulkner, my dear friend, and a co-star and friend of John Wayne. But this is... A guy that I, he's been a friend of mine, and he's a familiar face if you're a John Wayne and big movie goer. It's Ed Faulkner. Ed. Jeff, good to God see you. God bless you. Well, God bless you, my friend. Well, you're looking good. Feel well. Yeah. Feel, feel good. good. Yeah. Uh, well, you have a good time? Having a delightful time, Jeff. Yeah. You know, Ray's been after me a number of years to come up here. Yep. Haven't had the, the time to do it, but uh, taking, I'm taking time this time, and we'll probably be back. It's good. It Having is, a lot of fun. And you have a great display. Uh, it, we're here, they're signing autographs, and you, you can get an autograph, some videotapes, and movie memorabilia. But Ed's table has a lot of shots of all the great films he did with John Wayne, a half a dozen of them. And, and speaking of John Wayne, Ed, you, we know that May 26th is John Wayne's 100th birthday. Right. They're, they're celebrating it throughout the, uh, uh, the country, uh, even in his birthplace, uh, Winterset, Iowa, and also uh, Arizona. A lot of festivities. And Ed, uh, this is... Uh, it's hard to believe that uh, he's been gone as many years as he has. He's been dead since 1979, but yeah. what a talent, what a, what a great guy, huh? Well, I just loved him, Jeff. He was very kind to me. I did six films with him. The first one was McClintock. Mm -hmm. Fellas my age generally call me G.W. or McClintock. Youngsters call me Mr. McClintock. All right, Mr. McClintock. Not because I'm afraid of him. You're the big he stud of this country. And I reckon a fellow my age should call you mister. And then I did three back-to-back -back with him. I did Green Berets, we did Hellfighters, and then uh, The Undefeated. All good movies. Uh, did two more later on, Chisholm, Rio Lobo. I just loved the man, and his companies were unsurpassed. I mean, you, you, I, we were a family. You yeah. Know. That's really understand. I'm working on a John Wayne movie. It's it was like family. When when you work on Duke's picture, even though he didn't get credit for some of the directing, it was really his picture, pretty much. Uh, involves a lot of the shots. Is that he right? did. He called a lot of the shots, and yeah. he was very busy with Green Berets. He directed yeah. that. Although yeah, they brought uh, Mervyn Leroy in, Warner Brothers kind of wanted to back yeah. up. But you know, he knew the industry so well. He knew every facet of it. He was involved in every every bit of it, from wardrobe to makeup to lighting, you name it. Well, he did it for so long. Oh, sure he did. Yeah. And he came up through the, all the ropes. He, he did not become a star overnight. No. Duke, Duke uh, uh, worked a lot in the bees. 
We did. And a lot of B movies and uh, worked in those old uh, serials and before he got into big time. That's true. Yeah. That's true. John Ford, stagecoach. John Ford, and that's where I'm sure he got in the habit, like Ford did. Ford used a lot of the same actors. Right. And Duke found that was very successful. We knew one another. We were comfortable with each other. Yeah. And it was just a good time. Family. family yeah, time. And, and you guys look good on camera together. You know, when you guys stand uh, with uh, with Duke, and you guys uh, brought, uh, Duke was 6'4", and you're 6'3", right? I'm 6'3", and I did one film with him where I was actually the shortest prince of <laughs> Uh, the director was 6'7", Andy McLaglin. Yeah. Uh, Duke was 6'4", Hudson, Rock Hudson was 6'4", maybe a little bit taller than Yeah, you're than talking that. about The Undefeated, right? The Undefeated. Yeah. Burl Olson Great was 6'5", or what something like that. What a cast like. in You had ex-football players yeah. in that movie. <laughs> Roman Gabriel. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you did. You're right. You had a lot of t big guys in that big, movie. Big yeah. people. Big oh. people. Yep. Should have been Attack of the Giants or something. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was a good it's movie, good uh, but you know, when you're on a John Wayne movie, when John Wayne movie comes and it's released, it always seems to be very good in the box office. So it seems never miss. You know, uh, the Green Berets made a lot of money. The Green Berets made a lot of money. It was a controversial film yeah, yeah. when it came out, and it got panned in many uh, in many areas. Mm -hmm. But nonetheless, there it was, and that was Duke's statement, I, and he wanted to make it, and that's, that's the way he true. felt about it. I remember the episode he did in Maud, you know, where yeah. he, uh, and uh, he and then he went to the uh, well. A lot of them, uh, the war protesters, didn't uh, like his uh, views on the war. No, there was some critic I can't remember name that mm -hmm. just lambasted the film mm -hmm. and maybe that caused more attention a lot of people went to see it so but anyway that's I thought it was a great film and I enjoyed it yeah and oh yeah it's a good one that's a good one and uh, you know do you have any favorites of the uh, dozen a half a dozen you made I think you said uh, the first one McClintock and well, that was a family affair yeah McClintock holds a lot of fond memories for me being yeah. the first one mm -hmm. And Duke was so cordial and welcoming, and it was just like I'd known him for years, and I wasn't intimidated by him and felt comfortable. But everyone, it was, you know, they were just great. It was like coming home, really. Every She's telling the truth, Mr. McClinic. We weren't doing nothing. Well, that's not important right now. The important thing is that you don't draw that hog leg, or this will be worse than Dodge City on Saturday night. Oh, calm down. Oh, she's just a little excited. I know, I know. I'm going to use good judgment. I haven't lost my temper in 40 years. But, Pilgrim, you caused a lot of trouble this morning. Might have got somebody killed. And somebody ought to belt you in the mouth. But I won't. I won't. The hell I will. I won't. I won't. The hell I won't! <laughs> hey! Are you still down here? Hey! Oh, that's one the way, huh? Honest, Mr. Jones, honest! Thanks. I went to college. For this, you don't need college. You're not getting me down there. Good morning to you, Mrs. McClinton. Funny, you big... Yeah. Oh. 